So last year I promised myself to be a better person and spend more time with my family and it looks like things are getting better in this area. And by the way, if you are new to this channel, my name is Pavel and here I'm sharing not only filmmaking tips but also cinematic stories, vlogs. So today's video I qualify as vlog. I wanted to shoot this talking head part outside, but the weather is so crap that I have to do it indoors. Normally in my vlogs I share some random videos from the places I visited a couple of weeks ago, and this episode will not be the exception. We have springtime here now in Poland, and the funniest thing about it is that during this time one day it may be quite warm and nice, and the next day you'll see heavy snow and you'll be freezing outside. Look, that's yesterday, today. Yesterday, today, that's crazy, but I'm used to that. And since most of the time during the week I spent at home working, well, I don't really care about the weather outside. On the other hand, during the weekends weather really matters and so far I had real luck. In the past two weeks I visited two awesome places not far from Krakow, the city where I live. Both of them are the remains of earlier natural aggregate mining, and as far as I know there are plenty of places like that in this region. In most of the cases these are just lakes that have pretty colors depending on what mineral was explored in that place, and some infrastructure for tourists. Simple, smart and beautiful. Look at these colors! They are so amazing! By the way guys, if you're interested in what is my favorite go-to camera lens I use in my outdoor vlog shooting, I think that finally I've made my choice. At the beginning of this year I purchased my favorite so far, Sony 24mm f1.4 G Master lens, and since then I've been using it in almost every situation. Indoors like now and outdoors, but what I've realized? I don't really need this heavily blurred background that f1.4 aperture offers when I'm outside. f4 is just fine. That's why when I visit some places during the day and there's a bright sun, now I just take my Sony size 16-35 f4 lens and I'm covered in almost any situation. Moreover, I have zoom and image stabilization in this lens, so prime lens that gives amazing blurry background is great, but in many cases there are much better options. And also there is one more thing I've discovered recently. Sometimes when I don't want to carry my camera with me or just to take it out of my backpack, I use my phone to take pictures. And as many of you know, iPhone photos are pretty damn good straight out of camera without even any adjustments in post. But I decided to install the Lightroom mobile app and take the pictures using a DNG format, which is basically a raw file used by Adobe. And Man, there's so much more dynamic range and information captured in these files, much more than from the default camera app. If a regular JPEG file has a size of around 2 MB, these DNG files are more than 7 times heavier, around 15 MB. You can see how easily you might recover details from highlights if you expose the image correctly and afterwards color correct it. And if you need it on a bigger screen, you just synchronize it with the cloud and open in the desktop app. Very convenient and pretty straightforward. And I think with newer phone models, in several scenarios you'll have a really hard time distinguishing a photo captured by a professional camera and high-end smartphone. I can't hold it anymore. <laughs> I'll put it on table. Vlogging is hard. Technology is evolving very fast, and eventually mirrorless cameras, for example the one that I'm shooting with right now, Sony A7 III, will be replaced, will be pushed out by advanced smartphones that will be able of capturing the image of the same or even better quality than all these modern fancy and expensive cameras do. Well, I think soon we'll find it out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this short vlog. It's good to have some breaks from tutorials and filmmaking tips that I've been posting a lot recently. And as many of you know, I'm trying to be consistent this year and post at least one video per week. So far so good and I'm so close from being monetized on YouTube. And if you enjoy my videos and want to help me to reach my little milestone, hit this like button and consider subscribing to my channel if you are into the content I create. Check out my other videos you see on the screen. 
grab a cup of tea or coffee, relax, watch, learn, and see you in the next one. Cheers.